They bring the fight and leave fear behind The defense will shut you down When nobody seems to get by them Better get out of town Don't ever come back back Don't even try You better believe it You're gonna be living it for them long It's gonna get worse as the day goes on Feel it Feel it gonna lose on Sunday you can't hide anywhere The bills will find you Let's have kill it Kill it for the name on Sunday Spread it everywhere Don't mind if I do See you Sunday Go Bills Shut the fuck up, bitch. Yeah. We came, we saw, we conquered. There we go. We got that win, man. Shout out to the shout out to the birds, man. That was a big win right there for us, man. Shout out to the offense for showing up, man. Finishing this game strong. You know, shout out to them, man. You know, uh shout out to shout I mean I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not really. I wasn't really all that impressed with the defense, honestly, because giving up so many, you know, third down conversions, especially that one turned out to be a touchdown. You know, I'm not. I wasn't really all that impressed with the defense, but I will say this though. I will say this. They did uh, make it, make some key stops, and I will give them that. But I'm gonna say this, man. By the end of the season, man, we need to make a lot of adjustments, and that's that's definitely on the defense. Um. It's like, yeah, sure, our offense, um, you know, they had some issues in a couple games. You know, wide receivers did drop, a, you know, several passes, especially key ones. But, you know, majority of it was on the defense. And that's why, you know, we're pretty much 4-4 four and four now rather than being, let's say, 6-2. and two. Now, six and, I'm going to say at least 6-2 and two or 7-1. and one. A lot of it had, had to do with the defense. Um, oh, I want to give a shout out to Houston Astros too, keeping this game alive. I think the series is tied now, like two and two. All I gotta say is, man, I hope the Astros win the series so the Nationals can stop talking that bullshit now that Bryce Harper didn't want to be in Washington anymore. And and it, even though it's a bit ironic that you know the um, ever since Bryce Harper uh, left Washington, now they're in the championship, but. All I got to say is, man, go Astros. I hope they fucking shut the Nationals up. Anyway, um, back to this game, man. It was a very, very big win. You know, shout out to the run game. Um, you know, I did say that, you know, if the uh, if the run game can show up, you know, um, especially against a team that's mostly defensive, that's a defensive team. But if we keep running the ball on them and they gas out, you know, nine times out of ten, we can win this game. And that's exactly what happened, you know. Not only did the off, the 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 run game show up, but each each of them got a got a touchdown. I mean, I can't. I'm not sure when's the last time this really happened. I mean, some people were saying it was against the Broncos. You know, we pulled a fifty burger on them. Other than that, I'm not really sure. But um, shout out to the run game, man. They really showed up. Uh, I know Carson Wentz ain't really do too much, but he did make some key uh, first down plays. You know, that led to the touchdown. Um, I think he had about. You could say it was about over 220 yards, but uh, around 40 of it was rushing. So he did do he did do a lot of running. So, you know, shout out to him, you know, uh, risking it out there, you know, to get some first downs. So, I mean, that QB draw when it was fourth and 10, holy crap. <laughs> For the first down, holy crap. You know, um, shout out to the team period, man, you know. And uh, you know, I'm not gonna just give a shout out to the team for winning it. Yeah, you know, we 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 came to Buffalo. You know, we won the game. We shocked everybody. But I want to give a major major shout out to a certain little clown. You know, that was talking. Who who had all you know the heart in the world to talk that shit on the media, but didn't have the balls to say it right in their face. I mean, where I come from. That's some whole shit right there. But, of course, when you got Cowboy fans, you know, talking about, oh, you know, uh, fucking um, Orlando Scandrick fucking, um, you know, trash the Eagles and all of that. You know, trash the locker room. Talking about we're in disarray and all that shit. You know, according to a certain Cowboy fan. 
Well, I mean, well, guess what? We still won the game without his ass, so fuck him. You know, I didn't agree with it. I didn't agree with us letting him go. I don't think he was the reason why we lost, but, hey, it is what it is. But, um, you know, if you if you try to act all hot shot and talk that shit on the media but didn't have the balls to say it right in their face, then you a bitch in my opinion. And, you know, that being said, Orlando Scans can go kick rocks. I mean, I didn't agree with him getting cut, you know, I didn't agree with him getting cut that soon, but it is what the fuck it is. He can go fuck himself, you know, since he want to go that route. He can go fuck himself. Go, go, good luck, you know, finding your next job. Probably going to be at McDonald's or whatever. You know, he can go fuck himself. Um, You know, of course, Cowboy fans going to call consider him a legendary thing, but that's only because he praised the Cowboys to talk about how he regretted leaving them. I mean, it's not that you left them. They didn't want anything to do with you. They cut your bum ass. Anyway, anyway, you know, shout out to the team, you know, won this big game in Buffalo. I felt like that fumble uh, by Brandon Graham, uh, it was either by Brandon Graham or was it uh, Derek Barnett? It was one of them. But that, uh, I felt like that's what really started the game. Um, it was like right before, right before the end of the first half. And, you know, we scored eight points in the, uh, you know, it, it, we scored a touchdown, a two-point conversion. I'm not going to lie. I didn't really agree with the two point conversion but hey they got it i mean i didn't i didn't realize it was extremely windy out there until you know that moment but anyway um you know what man got the job done though that's all that matters we got that job done in the end we got the win it's time to move on to the next against uh you know chicago bears um, you know, I'm not going to talk about, you know, we back and I'm not going to say any of that, man. You know, I'm staying humble in this still. Um, this game was definitely a much needed win, you know, to keep our season alive. You know, I know certain fans are very sick right now because, you know, they, you know, they, they, you know, they should be enjoying the bye week. You know, they in first place and everything. But hey, you know, when you talk about how, you know, we're obsessed over them, but look who's obsessed now. You know, I know they sick right now because they couldn't get the best of the bye week, you know. But, uh, but hey, at least the Giants lost. At least the Redskins lost, right? <laughs> anyway, man, look. I guess uh, I'm in this video. You know, we got the dub. That's all that matters. Um, a very big win, especially against a winning team at that. Um, but I want to give props to uh I'm, I'm gonna give props to the Buffalo Bills though. They put up a good fight, but you know, you would think they put up more than 13 points the way they played. But um, you know, but hey, I mean, you know, we need this win. You know, we need everybody to come back together. And that was that. That's all there is to it, you know. Um, but I want to give a major shout out to the homie Peyton and shout out to Fox 87. Um Oh, I want to give a shout out to the Bills Mafia. I mean, what's going on? Where the Bills Mafia at? I mean, because, you know, I seen a couple of them was trolling the comments when I made my little preview. You know, hey, Bills Mafia. I mean, welcome to YouTube. I mean, you know, I know a lot of y'all new here. You know, I clicked on y'all. I clicked on y'all profiles and everything. You know, it says some of y'all joined in 2019. But I mean, you know, what's up? I mean, y'all y'all still, still trying to stick around? Or y'all, you know, or y'all feeling sick right now because y'all, what, five and two now? Come on, it ain't over. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? <laughs> you know how it is, man. These fresh-ass fans going to pop up because they team good. But now they lost. They probably going to go ghost, man. But, you know, I'm still going to give him a... I mean, shout out to my homie, uh, Fox87. Shout out to the homie Peyton, man. But other than that, you know, I ain't got much to say, man. The Eagles got the win. Time to move on to the Bills. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, You know, it's time to, you know, come back together. You know, and see see where this dub can take us, man. Um, you know, our season is still alive. You know, the trade deadline is coming up, you know, and hopefully the chances will be a lot better because we beat a really, really good team. You know, we showed everyone we still got it. You know, it ain't over. It's far from over. You know, you got, you got these clowns talking about one-hit wonders and all of that, but how, how can you say the team is one-hit wonders when – a lot of players on the team, you know, a lot of players that won the Super Bowl is still on the team. So how are you going to say one hit wonders? Go to show y'all no shit. But anyway, we ain't talking about that, man. Um, you know, if we're making moves, man, you know, now, now our chances are pretty good because, you know, we got the dub, especially against a really good team. Other than that, you know, 
that's all I'm going to say. You know, I'm going to stay humble in this one. You know, it's a really good dub. And uh, time to move on to the Bears and see what see what's going to happen this whole week. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. Shaman, as you check on out of here, it is always fly, Eagles, fly. I have my 50-50 challenge out later on, you know, probably after I take a nap or whatever. Anyway, that's all I got to say, man. Go Birds, 4-4, four four, on to the Bears.